Happy October, everybody. This year, I actually got a costume. Got the orange shirt, the hat. I'm Double D. It counts. Anyway, so uh, it's been a while since I've done this. You know, a full month of reviews where I do a review every day of the month. I mean, the last and I think only time I did it was back in 2015 with Nordy's Month of Spielberg, but that was easy. The reviews were short and editing quick, so this year I figure I'll do 31 days of reviews on episodes focusing on a certain theme, and that theme is spookiness. So we'll be looking at 31 episodes of family shows set on Halloween, or at least are somewhat creepy, kooky, mysterious, and spooky. I tried to have some variety for this marathon. I'll of course talk about shows I've talked about several times before, but also some I've only reviewed once and others not at all. A few of the shows I've never seen an episode of. I'm gonna try and look at each episode not only on how it works as just an episode itself, but how well it gets me in the Halloween spirit. We got a lot of shows to get through, so I say we just cut the crap and begin. And what show am I starting with, as if you couldn't tell from the title, it's... About time I've talked about this show, I was supposed to talk about it four years ago. At the end of my peeking at the pilots on the Jungle Cubs, I said I would cover this next, but because of time constraints and just not having much to say, I cancelled it. And since then, I haven't seen much of the show. What little I've seen, I've liked. It's a good show, but holy shit, this thing just exploded. You can put this as having one of the most dedicated fandoms in animated television alongside Friendship is Magic and Steven Universe. It's one of the few 2010s Nicktoons that people seem to really love, and became enough of a hit that they didn't cancel it after one or two seasons. From the episodes I've seen, I can't say I really understand the massive hype it's gotten, but maybe this episode will make me see the light. This is tricked. This one was directed by series creator Chris Savino and was one of the last to air before the truth came out about him. Like literally four days after this episode aired in America is when the Cartoon Brew article was released. Anyway, we begin with the Loud siblings all making decorations. I'll be honest, I'm terrible with names so I'll try and keep them right, but if I mess up any, I apologize. So Lucy, the goth, is probably my favorite character. Yeah, the goth character is my favorite, no shit. Also, I think she may have decapitated female Johnny Bravo. Anyway, Lucy is setting up a haunted corn maze. And this is my least favorite character. The backgrounds are reminding me a lot of It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It's just so fall-like. Lincoln and his friend Clyde are trying to find a neighborhood that gives out full-size candy bars. Well, as long as there are no pumpkin heads, you should be okay. They believe it's a place called Huntington Manor. Unfortunately, it's a gated community. Uh, boys, are you not gonna question that there are clones of you walking around and that they're British? They run into two bullies. Uh, Clyde, you may want to get that checked out. That doesn't seem safe. You could lose a gallon of blood in a minute. Go to the hospital. Aren't you two a little old for trick-or-treating? They tell them to go to Franklin Avenue. I'm sorry, I hate Lisa's voice. I don't like lisps in voice acting. Lucy and Lynn come out in multiple costumes because twins. Well, Lisa is a kangaroo with the youngest sibling, Lily, as her baby. Aww. Their dad is scared to go out, so they have to force him. Yeah, I was never a fan of that cliche, but at least Brian Stepanek voices him, so that's cool. Oh god, it's the Mass Kitty War on Courage. Quick, hide all your dogs! Oh my god, I love this character. No. The boys manage to sneak into the community, and normally I'd make some sort of a joke about bad security, but again, they're literally clones, so I'll let it slide. After a few gags, the boys finish their trick-or-treating, and not wanting their families to get a hold of it, they bury them. Well, that's... That, that's just dumb. And they get back to their street, which has been completely vandalized.
We must find out who did this. Tie them up, take them where no one can hear their screams, and take turns disemboweling them. So obviously it was the two bullies who came and destroyed everything and stole everyone's candy. Also, don't leave the baby outside, you fucking psychos! Well, it's not really your fault. You thought they were just gonna trick or treat like everyone else. They find the two bullies in the woods because of course they're in the woods. Please never mention the word squats in front of me ever. Thank you very much. They have a tree house. Again, how old are these two? I do love that murder is their first plan. No, instead they apparently eat too much candy and pass out, and for some reason their dialogue just really made me laugh hard. So they get the candy, but the two wake up and beat them up, throwing them in the dumpster. You know, I get this is a kid's show, but can't you guys tell on them? Lincoln remembers that the sight of blood makes the two bullies barf, so they trick them into a corn maze and... Oh, now I get it! So much better! Like so! Because he has stitches! <laughs> anyway, the family scares the bullies in a music number. It's pretty creative and the song is a little catchy. And I love the animation here. They scare the bullies off and Lucy is happy. So ecstatic. The maze is a huge hit, and since the bullies ate everyone else's candy, which I'm pretty sure means they're both diabetic now, Lincoln and Clyde give out their full-size candy bars. That's really nice, and they don't even seem that upset. They're just happy to help. That's actually really refreshing to see. So that was pretty damn good. There's a decent amount of laughs, the story is fun, and it's really quick paced too. Since it's a 22 minute special of a show that's normally 11 minutes, I was afraid it would drag scenes out. But no, it's always quick and doesn't stay on one part for too long. Now in terms of the halloween meter, I love the animation, the colors, the lighting, it just looks like fall. But I was a bit disappointed that for most of it, they skip over a lot of the Halloween tropes. We don't see Lincoln and Clyde trick or treat at all, barely see the girls do any, and the maze doesn't get any screen time until the last few minutes. All the pieces are there, but it spends most of the time on the bullies. So the episode itself I'd probably give a 7.5, but the Halloween only gets a 7, and that's mostly for the animation. Well that's one down, 30 more to go, and tomorrow we'll be sticking with Nickelodeon as we head down to Bluffington. Thank you all for watching, see you tomorrow. Guess what?